I think going forward, I think the curator is going to be one of the most important roles in journalism. I think it's actually probably going to eventually replace the reporting role. I mean, there are so many diverse sources of information across the internet, and it's got to the point where we as journalists, we're no longer the storyteller. You know, in the, in the terms of the traditional storytelling sense, where we go and we get the story, we write it up and we file it back. You know, Twitter, iPhones, all these tools have de democratized that, so that's not really our skill set, which means our skill set has to go up another level, and that level has to be at the point where we knit the narrative together into one whole from so many different sources. And I think that's how you emerge at the truth, especially in an age where the biggest problem we have is an overflow of information. So I think that, yeah, the role is going to be very important going forward. I think we're all going to be curators. I think I'm even seeing that trend at the moment with traditional news sites who are linking to other news sites and saying this person just reported this story. And, you know, even it's, and it's good. I mean, in many ways, we're now acknowledging where was maybe journalists, I think, wouldn't before, we're now acknowledging where original sources came from. So there's a sort of element of fair play coming in that I don't think was always there before. And it's becoming a lot more collaborative, and that can only be a good thing. I started out in journalism at 15, so I was really, really young. And for me, as you know, it was like breathing. You know, I mean, you ever done something, probably like what you're doing now, where you think, yep, yeah, this is it, this is one thing that I'll do for the rest of my life. And for me, that wasn't quite how it panned out, because I'm kind of about to 19, I was at university, and my career teachers were telling me, you know, you'll never make a living out of this. Newspapers are shutting down, blah, blah, blah. This will not happen. And that actually really dissuaded me. And so I went off to, I dropped the university, I went to run a new startup and I tried my hand at everything but what I was good at, which was editorial. Ended up going around different jobs because I really missed what I was doing. But I had this belief in my head that I couldn't do it. And I think it was actually guys like Michael Larrington and Gabe where I was seeing them make money out of news and be profitable. That opened my eyes because I was like, you know, it's a very one-sided story we're hearing about the media at the moment. Oh, newspapers are dying, newspapers are dying. Yes, but these all my news sites are growing and they're doing really well. So the point for me, which I met Gabe, was Megan, uh, Megan McCarthy, who's dead at me, he has her posted that she was leaving MG and that she, they were looking for editors. So, I mean, for me, it was just like a light went off. I was like, this is it. This is my big chance. This is my opportunity to get back into doing what I love. And I really wanted to work with Gabe, especially. So I just, I applied. I got in touch with Gabe. We chatted a couple of times and we just really clicked, you know. We're both so passionate about what we do that we just clicked. And I think he saw that I was as passionate about Media Gizzer and Pac Me was an extension of that as he was. And we, um, he offered me a job. On so I remember because I never forget it. I got the email saying I'd love you to join. And I was like yes, because for me that was a really bittersweet moment after being told by so many people you'll never make a living out of journalism. You'll never do this. And I would hope that any young journalists watching this would sort of take away from that and believe that you know it's sort of they talk about you know there's not enough jobs and journalists getting laid off in newspapers and yeah there's a lot of sad stories in the media at the moment but it's not all doom and gloom you know what megan is a really hard act to follow so my first priority in coming in working with the other editors that who are currently on board too was to try and keep just run as tight a ship as megan had run and that was the first priority because she done such a great job but i think going forward i mean the real priorities we want to make sure that the site is when you want something, when you want to know what's going on in the industry, when you want to know what the most important stories are, and you don't trust Twitter because it's so much information always going on at you, so you only want the cream stuff at the top, you'll go to Media Gazer and you'll see. And we want to make that the go-to place for all news execs, all journalists, anyone in the media industry.